now there are a few more things that you need to do to essentially set up your profit instrument and the things that you need to do are set up the privacy about and contact pages and in the previous video I showed you how you can use easy privacy policy to set up your privacy page but we still have to set up about and contact pages now these these three pages are not uh, really required because most people won't uh, really read them but still this adds to the content of your website and, and increases credibility in Google's eyes okay so these three pages are, are the minimum that you must have uh, external which are not related to the product but still they help in get increasing credibility in the eyes of the visitor and in Google Google's eyes okay so privacy about and contact we've already created the privacy page about and contact page I'll just show you how you can create you'll also need to set up your affiliate links okay mask these affiliate links so that these don't look like uh, strings and numbers and look like normal links on your website okay so I'll show you how you can do that easily and I'll also show you how you can set up Google webmasters and Google analytics these both uh, will be used for tracking and optimizing your site okay so the first thing let's do is set up about and contact pages so in order to do that you have to go to pages add new then enter the title as about what I've done is uh, let's first create the contact page so let's just enter it as contact now what I've done is I've uh, given you all the copy and paste uh, information that you can just pick up from the blueprint document inside this module so I'll just copy and paste this this is for the contact page okay oops I think I pasted it twice okay so here's it if you have any questions or comments please feel to feel free to contact me at the following email address here's where you'll put in your email address let's say info at profitinstruments.com okay um, most people won't use this but still it's just to give them comfort that okay there's someone else behind this site who is real who has an email address they can contact okay and we have I'll respond back typically within 24 hours then you can select this and make it italics and then just hit publish okay so the contact page has been created next we'll add an about page so the name of the page will be about and then I'll just copy the same thing I've mentioned all this inside your blueprint document so I'll just copy this and paste it here okay so here's where you'll change whatever is wrapped in brackets this is what you have to change for example welcome to site name will be let's say welcome to profit instruments review something like this okay let's just keep it general let's say PNK review then I wanted I created this website to express my opinion on product name this is where you'll put the product name and help people make an informed decision before they buy a product name you can also do it like this and help people make an informed decision before they before they jump into this you don't really have to include the product name twice here but still this this entire template you can customize according to your needs well I just think okay then we have because there are so many scams on the internet nowadays it's really difficult to know what actually works in fact when I came across product name I was skeptical myself please feel free to contact me look I've heard I've cut through all the hype and reveal all the facts that will help you decide whether product name is right for you or not feel free to to go through my website and get get to know more about product name if you have any questions please go to the contact page thanks for visiting my website that's a friendly and genuine about page so I'll just publish this okay so after you have set this up then we will be setting up the affiliate links okay now in affiliate links um, let's first grab your affiliate link let me tell you how you can get your affiliate links and then how you can mask them 
in order to mask them you have to go to go codes under tools there's a stuff called go codes if you remember we installed this plugin in the last video now we have to put in two things the redirection key and the target URL the target URL will be our affiliate link and the redirection key will be something um, will will be a, a, a small string that will be after the go text okay I'll just explain you everything so first let us let us grab an affiliate link let's go to let's go to Clickbank and then click on any product let's just hit promote okay let me enter the any your ID okay tracking ID is optional but still I recommend that you go in for tracking ID because tracking ID is where you'll be uh, able to track what which uh, links are getting you the most sales okay so let's put in uh, text so this is the link that's been generated so just copy this okay I'll just close the marketplace bank okay now you just paste the link that we just copied here this is your affiliate link this has got your tracking ID right here okay and this is your actual affiliate link so we'll also want to count hits then the redirection key that we put in will be something like let's say our our uh, profit instrument is installed in the domain name let's just say affiliate elite review dot com okay so the redirection key will look something like this affiliate elite review dot com forward slash go forward slash the key that you enter here okay it's already explained here okay your blog dot com forward slash go forward slash the key so let's say uh, we want to keep this something that is a little enticing to click okay for example let's say uh, go if, if you're if you're offering a discount we can say go discount okay or if you're offering a trial we can say go trial or or go free trial please uh, make sure that the redirection key does not have any spaces okay then you can also write something like go visit or go official website okay so I've already given you a lot of options that you can try out with the redirection key so let's just keep it at visit so that the person visits the website then we click on add redirect now what this does is that this is created this link here profitinstruments.com and this is where I've installed the uh, profit instrument profit instrument.com forward slash pnk forward slash go forward slash visit visit this is my blog address this is the go text that comes along and this is the visit that we just entered and the link with, the, with that we just put in right this one and also hits okay so the number of people how I mean the more people click on this link the more this will counter will grow okay so you also want to diversify you don't want just one link on your website you want to have multiple links and spread them around because what you'll be doing is you'll be sp uh, you'll be having at least five or six affiliate links on your um, home page on your profit instrument so what you want is you want each of these links to have a different tracking ID okay so that you can track which links are getting you the most sales okay for example let's say we have a banner on our website and we want to so I keep the I want to check whether how many sales is generated so we put in a TID as banner count hits and then add redirect the redirection key is banner Okay, then we can have uh, sidebar or uh, let's say go official okay then we paste this link then we say TID is sidebar count hits add redirect okay so I've created three links here and we'll be using these three links uh, in our profit instrument I'll just show you how so this is all about um, creating these uh, masking these affiliate links so let me just try it out whether it's working or not I'll just copy this and open this in a new tab 
as you can see the satellite direct.tv page is opening up so here we have satellite direct has opened up with our affiliate link I'll just show you the your ID was the I mean username that I inputted while creating the affiliate link so this is already set so it's it's that easy now what we'll do is we'll include these uh, links in, on our profit instrument I'll show you how okay later on so we've created the pages we've created the links now we come to Google webmasters and Google analytics okay now this is Google webmaster central google.com forward slash webmasters okay this is where you need to go if you're not already there then I'll just click on sign into webmaster tools now to sign in you need to have a Google account but uh, after you have signed in then this will come in this is your home page of Google webmasters you need to add a site let's say your site name is profit instruments dot com dot com forward slash pnk this is where my blog has been installed right now so I'll just put this up I'll click on continue so this this shows the site URL and this shows that this has not been verified so what you have to do is you have to upload a meta tag that Google generates so this is the meta tag that has been generated for me so what you have to do is you have to copy this meta tag here okay that Google generates and then paste it to your WordPress site so I'll tell you how you just under appearance there is editor okay so just click on that and then you have to click on a, a file called header.php that's this one every theme has a header.php so you click on that a lot of scrambled eggs comes up so what you have to do you, have, you don't have to worry about all this you just need to scroll down to somewhere where you find us this 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 uh, line here a, le a slash head type of thing that you find here this is the line you're looking for so once you find that just above that you have to paste the meta tag okay just above the head area okay so after you've done that click on update file now go back to webmaster central and click on verify and that is it okay so so your uh, site has been added to Google webmasters now there's one more thing that I require uh, you to do you have to under site configuration you have to click on site maps and then you have to click on submit a sitemap now remember I told you to install a plugin called Google XML sitemaps okay so what Google XML sitemaps does is it creates a XML sitemap of your WordPress blog and update it updates it automatically okay so what you have to do is because the sitemap has already been created you don't need to do anything you have to just enter sitemap dot XML okay this is the thing you need to enter and then submit sitemap okay so that's it uh, the sitemap has been added and then Google will automatically reach your website and crawl it there okay so this is all about Google webmasters and I'll tell you how you can use analytics analytics is basically for tracking the number of visitors and how they come to a website and how they interact with your website so what you have to do is uh, there are various profiles under Google Analytics this is also uh, under a Google account so if you don't have a Google account you have to sign up for it and then you'll reach here this is the URL for Google Analytics is google.com forward slash analytics then you, you have to create a few uh, accounts uh, so I'll just click on my account here so after I've done that what comes up is the list of websites that I have in my account okay but in order to add a new website there is a link here at the right which says add new profile so I'll just click on that 
so this is where I need to enter my site's URL profit instruments.com forward slash PNK this is where I've installed my profit instrument and then click on finish so what will happen is it will show you some code this is the code that it shows you have to select all this sorry select all this and then copy it okay and then go back to your website we're, we're under under the appearance editor area where we just left and instead of header we click on footer out footer.php is a file we need to edit okay and similar to the previous one where I told you to paste the code just above a slash head we have to paste a code now just above slash body okay so just above this line we paste the code okay so I've just pasted this code this is just above the slash body so after I made the changes I click on update file and that's it now your profile has already been created in Google Analytics so you can start seeing your data it will come up and you've also added Google Web Masters so this will allow you to track what keywords you're ranking for and, and in which position okay and also to see if, if you've got any website errors or site map errors or anything like that so you can correct them accordingly so this is it about uh, setting up your profit instrument properly we have uh, set up uh, your plugins and change the permalink settings we've also set up your theme and then created the uh, essential pages privacy about and contact we've also created links with go codes and we've also installed webmasters and analytics so this is all that's required to uh, set up your profit instrument properly now remember that all this may seem like a lot of tasks but if you if you do it once or twice then uh, in my case for example you can uh, I, I, I complete the entire process within 15 20 minutes max okay so you can easily do it do, do this entire thing within half an hour and after you've set up all this comes the part where you have to set up your sidebar and then add content to your website okay so all that will be will be covered in the next videos so thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, I'll see you then bye bye